Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful day or night. In this video, we're going to be talking about some preview pages for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 43 that dropped a few hours ago thanks to comicbook.com. Now, if you don't want to be spoiled by these preview pages, I suggest you click away from this video and find something else on my channel to watch. If you're new for the very first time and you're only just discovering this channel, I suggest you hit the subscribe button for more Power Rangers content. But for those who want to be spoiled by these preview pages, let's get right into it. So these preview pages mostly focus on the outcome of the cliffhanger we had last month where the Rangers were facing off with Dane, and just like I said, Dane is very dangerous, he's not won the tech lightly because he easily takes care of the Rangers in a few pages. The first one he takes out is Kimberly. He basically pins her down and stomps on her foot, breaking her thumb, which is freaking brutal to do, breaking her thumb, but it's a good way to do it because she does use her um, crossbow, not her crossbow, her bow, bow and arrow, power bow, um, yeah, power bow. And what he basically did, he basically broke her thumb so she couldn't use that. And as this is going on, Billy is narrating exactly what happened, saying how fast it happened and how he just went after everyone so quickly. So after he takes care of Kim, he goes up to Rocky by putting something over his face so he can't see. Then Adam jumps in, and how he deals with Adam is basically summoning these bugs, and he messes with Adam's fear of bugs on a psychological level, that's what Billy calls it. He basically takes care of their worst fears. Next is Aisha, and Aisha gets stomped really easily because she doesn't do the best sneak attack. She says, I've got you, and as this happens, Dane's ears perks up and he basically just kicks her in the gut, knocking her back, easily taking care of her. Then after that, Dane quickly takes out Billy and Kimberly, knocking them down, and basically Dane's plan is to get close to Tommy. He wants to get rid of the five Rangers so we can get close to Tommy, and even Tommy isn't a match for Dane because Dane is even prepared for Tommy. And it looks like that Tommy has an advantage over Dane reading these panels, but Dane just pulls out this like really cool weapon that looks like a dual lightsaber that Darth Maul had, and just easily takes on Tommy in sword fighting and he just wrecks him and after that he like Dane is so prepared if you read these preview pages like he's so freaking pre prepared because Tommy gets sub and he's like all right we're gonna use a full power attack of your little laser beam get ready Saba and Dane just puts up a force field that reflects the energy knocking it back at Tommy forcing Tommy to demorph and that's how Dane easily takes care of the rangers no sweat. And as this is all being narrated, um, Billy telling Zordon what happened, Zordon says that he has met Dane before, he's heard of, he's met, yeah, I'm reading it right now as I'm going over this. Zordon says he's encountered Dane before, he's Lord Zed's assassin. And basically Dane says, not Dane, Zordon says, Dane is basically going to take advantages of your weaknesses, never engage him on his own terms, just be careful out there because Dane left you all, all, all alive. If Dane left you all alive, he did it for a reason. And I get the feeling that Dane left the Rangers all alive. The reason for is making them have this loss, making them learn that they are unable to defeat a person like Dane who's going to mess with them on a psychological level, thinking they're not ready for whatever's out there. Which sounds weird, but it does make sense. I mean, how else would you deal with, like, the Rangers, I mean, he didn't kill him, he left him alive, so I get the feeling he wants to leave the taste of defeat in their mouth, so next time they're not ready, and basically Dane, he freaking took him out on levels they weren't ready for, like messing with their fears, messing with their weaknesses, and stuff like that, like Dane was very prepared for this fight. So yeah, Dane is very powerful and not one to be taken lightly, because if you were underestimating this character or just sleeping on this guy, you were wrong. You were very, very wrong, because I am wondering, how are they going to defeat Dane if he knows all their weaknesses? The Rangers are going to have to come up with a brand new strategy to defeat him. Now, a lot of people are predicting that the Omega Rangers will jump in into the fight and save them. That's a strong possibility, but I get the feeling Dane is going to get defeated by Tommy or all the Rangers put together, all six of the Rangers put together to defeat them. 
by overcoming them with teamwork and working as one unity, that's how they're going to defeat Dane. Because if they all do separate attacks and they try doing their own strategies, that's how they're going to get defeated. So I get the feeling that all the rangers are going to have to work together in one swift attack, like one motion of attacks, not just do separate attacks. Like you attack, then you attack, then you attack. I get the feeling there's going to be one big chain of attack that puts Dane down and wears him out eventually for Tommy the fight him one on one. Anyway guys that's all there is to talk about with these preview pages. Special thanks to comicbook.com for putting them up on their site. I had a lot of fun reading them and going over them just looking at these preview pages. Tell me what you guys think of Dane in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on them. I'm going to wrap this up now. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys around very soon. Peace out.